Hello world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to CodingScientist.com and welcome back to the series of artificial intelligence and robotics using NVIDIA Jetson Nano and JetBot module. Guys, we are on lesson number four or as per the manual, it's chapter number four. So let me go through the word document, the manual. So we will be installing the operating system in Jetson Nano. But before we install, we got to download the image, the operating system image. So how do we do that? So here we have the steps very clearly documented. So I am going to copy this URL. It's called jetbot.org forward slash 4.3 blah blah blah. Just copy that. And then I need to open a browser. I am going to open a browser and put that link right here. <coughs> There are a couple of things I need to show you guys. It's very important. Do please pay attention. All right. So there are two different versions here. One is for 2 GB version of Jetson Nano and one is for 4 GB version of Jetson Nano, right? So if you are using 4 GB, which I am assuming is the case because most of the JetBot kits, if you order with a combo package from Waveshare or any other vendor or if you are custom building, I suggest go for 4 GB version always because there are a couple of reasons. One, we will be uh, in, in the future lessons and the upcoming lessons, I'll show you ton loads of artificial intelligent, uh, uh, intelligence applications and you will be downloading too many libraries related to Python programming. So, if you, so that needs lot of computing power right and on top of that we will be running the jetbot as well so i suggest go for 4 gb ram uh, which is pretty uh, decent which is pretty good so select this i'm going to select this 4 gb ram and you can see a download section there are also some older releases of jetbot uh, uh, packages here which is not required at this point of time we will just directly go ahead and download this. So if you see here on the browser, there is, you know, below the download, uh, the current Jetback version is 4.5 and the JetBot version is 4.3. So you have to just click on this and that's going to take you to a Google Drive. It's a different drive. It's a different section of uh, JetBot. And here you can see couldn't preview the file. Do not worry about that. You just have to click download. Okay. And then you will see the screen. You need to click download anyway. You know, it's not going to scan for any virus and stuff like that. But do not worry. You can trust because this, this, Jetback, this JetBot Jetpack uh, system is from NVIDIA. So it's absolutely no need to worry about any virus scanning and stuff. You can just click download anyway. All right. So once you click again, you will see the same window, which you may not be able to see in this video, but you will see a window popping out. Same like what you notice in Balinature and uh, and your uh, the SD card formatter uh, installation. Same way you will see another window opening up. So you got to open that and save it on your desktop for easy access or if you are comfortable, you can do it on C drive or D drive, whichever drive you have. But I would suggest go ahead and save it on your uh, desktop guys most important thing to notice here this is going to install a zip file so a couple of things to note this is going to take at least about 30 minutes to 30 to 40 minutes to install okay it will again depend upon your internet uh, speed your network what kind of network you are operating currently while watching this video if you are on a pretty high high speed internet uh, broadband probably it's going to take about 20, 25 minutes, right? So on an average, you can say about 30 minutes. So one number two, most important thing, this downloads a zip file. Do not unzip for time being. It has to be as it is in the zip file itself. I'll tell you at a later stage what you got to do with this. Okay, so zip it, keep it ready. And I'm going to be back soon in the next video. Very quick. Bye bye.